Hi, I'm Shashi. Welcome to Curry Soup. No matter where in the world, whenever a scrawny kid picks a fight with some big grown guy, people always say the same thing. Who do you think you are? Bruce Lee is it? That's how famous Bruce Lee is. And today we're going to be talking about Bruce Lee and more specifically, why is he so famous? What are his accomplishments in his life? And whenever someone is remembered throughout time, it's not just because of the things they did and the things they accomplished, but more towards the advisors that they left behind for people to follow. So Bruce Lee was born in 1940, November 27, 1940 to be exact, and died in 20th July 1973. He only lived up to 32 years old, but in this short time, he accomplished more than anyone. Bruce Lee was born in the US initially, but very shortly after he was born, the parents decided to move back to Hong Kong. Even when he was a little kid, uh, the father used to send him over to studios to act in movie as a six-month-old baby, just as a second income to the family. Growing up, Bruce Lee was this very active, very hyperactive kid, never sitting still in one place, always running around, jumping up and down. And even in school, the teacher said, this kid is just too hyper for us, he cannot learn anything. So if you're wondering what he did instead of learning, he fought everyone he saw. That's right, Bruce Lee was famous for fighting all over Hong Kong. And he used to travel in these big gangs and stuff. And one day in school, the teachers um, told him, you, you're fighting all the time. Why not you put it to good use? There is an inter-school tournament coming, a fighting competition. Why not you join that? So this was one reason. And another reason was at the back of Bruce Lee's head, it was always a, a question for him. See, he goes around fighting people, but they go in a big gang. So what if one day I'm stuck alone and a big gang comes towards me? What's going to happen? So with these two reasons, he decided to practice, uh, he decided to pick up martial arts. And the martial art he chose was Kung Fu, as everyone knows. And more specifically, I think it's Wing Chun. And um, initially, he trained under many masters. And eventually, the school competition day arrived. And this guy is a first-time fighter going into the scene and he kept knocking people out left, right and centre and finally they ended up in the final position. Finally, they went to the finals. Sorry. And in the finals, the opponent for Bruce Lee was a three-year champion consecutively and Bruce Lee is a guy who just first, he was just newly entering into this competition and surprise, surprise, Bruce Lee won. And that was the first victory for Bruce Lee. He became the talk of the town all over Hong Kong. After this competition ended, Bruce Lee's life went back to normal. Again, continued fighting, street fights and all this stuff. So the parents finally decided, you know what? You can't stay quiet here. Why not you go to US, learn about life, a bit, work by yourself. And the Bruce Lee who went to US started dedicating himself into martial arts. He started practicing every day, started having a very rigid, tight body. He was going all out martial arts. So people always saw this Asian guy in the US, always training, always working out. So one day, the, a school nearby invited him over, why don't you show a demonstration to us? Your martial arts seems unique. So he went to the school and he started scanning around all the people who arrived, who people who were there. And he chose the biggest, most muscular guy to come from. He said, I'll challenge you. I'll show, I'll, de I'll demonstrate my martial arts with you. The crowd started laughing and Bruce Lee started in two minutes, knocked out. That's it. That was the second victory for Bruce Lee. And he started becoming famous all over US. This Asian guy just knocked out this huge white guy. And people started going to him to ask him to teach martial arts. And Bruce Lee being Bruce Lee, he thought, taught it to everyone. This caused some tension between Bruce Lee and the Chinese American community then. Because their mindset at that time was, this is a traditional art and it should be preserved within the Chinese community. So one day they called Bruce Lee and said, look, you cannot be doing this. You cannot be just selling out our craft to other people. This is supposed to be preserved within our community. And Bruce Lee disagreed. So they, they had a challenge there. So he said, okay, if you win this fight, you can do as you please. But if you lose this fight, you're supposed to stop all of this and never teach Kung Fu again. Bruce Lee was like, okay. And at this point, Bruce Lee was already married. And the person who wanted to oppose him was the Kung Fu Grandmaster at that time. And within three minutes, Bruce Lee knocked him out. And a Bruce Lee who just gained such a massive victory, went to the entrance staircase, sat down and started looking very glum. So the wife came to me and said, what's wrong with you? You just won. 
Bruce Lee said three minutes is too long for me to win a fight. I should have won faster. See, that's the mindset he had. He was always pushing himself beyond the limits. After this incident, Bruce Lee started becoming very famous. He started becoming very popular and he started doing movies as well. Um, during this time, because he was in the US and back then, the racism, the raci racial tension was very high. So in order to break all this, Bruce Lee used martial arts as a weapon. He started expressing himself through martial arts. And within a very short time, the whole world knew who Bruce Lee was. Unfortunately, during his final movie, the sixth movie, he, from what I read, he collapsed in the studio. He was brought to the hospital later on and the so-called, because the news is kind of mixed up, there are so many sources. Some people say he had a pre-existing condition and they said a few days later he was just found dead in his friend's house. So this is the life of Bruce Lee. So what has he accomplished in his life, you may ask. So here are seven things I'll list it out for you that Bruce Lee did that even until now not many can do. Probably 1% of the world can do. Alright, so here it is. Number one, he can do 1,500 push-ups non-stop. One-handed push-ups, 400 non-stop. Two-fingered push-up, 200 non-stop. And 100 push-ups with just his thumb, non-stop. Number two, um, he can kick a 45 kilogram sandbag five meters up in the air. And apparently this is super difficult to do. A 45 kg sandbag, it's almost like a whole human standing in front of you. Number three, he supposedly because i haven't seen any video or anything about this also but this is all from words of his friends and people who admired him while he was there supposedly in one second he can deliver nine punches like nine punches done number four you know the movies we see it seems like bruce lee's uh, actions and bruce lee's fight scenes are all sped up the reality is all his moves all his movements are actually slowed down so that the audience can see what's actually going on or not just like that the fight is over and no one knows what happened number five he can kick anyone up in the air like no matter how big you are no matter how bulky you are or fat you are he can kick you up in the air he can literally kick you out in the air number six he plays apparently he plays this game with his uh, people who wants to test his skills and all he asks them to hold a coin in his in their hand and he stands one meter away. So he tells them, okay, the moment you see me move, I want you to close your eyes and close your uh, and grasp the coin. And as he's, as they as the action starts when he moves, within one second when the guy opens his eyes back, Bruce Lee is up in his face and Bruce Lee has the coin in his hand. And number seven is his famous one inch punch. He can deliver such a massive force one inch from the body and to the point where some people can be pushed back almost five meters. So here are the things he said, his philosophies if you like. Things that he followed very strictly in his life and I think it's something everyone who wishes to be like Bruce Lee should follow. So here is the list. Number one, he says, the more we value things, the less we value ourselves. So always prioritize yourself, what you need most. Don't always uh, value material possessions more than yourself. Number two, empty your mind, be formless, be water. This he wanted to say to represent no matter what problem out there is, we are supposed to change ourselves so that we could handle the problem. So the analogy he uses is water. If you put a water in a teacup, it becomes the teacup. If you put a water in a bottle, it becomes the water. So that's what he says, be water, my friend. Number three, I'm not in this world to live up to your expectations and you're not in this world to live up to mine. Each of us move at our own pace. You may be a success at 20 or you may be a failure at 30. It doesn't matter. Each of us follow our own pace. We don't, we don't need to live up, live a life which pleases people who hardly know us or people who hardly care about us. We are supposed to live our life to the best as it pertains to our own vision of life, our own scope of what's right, what's wrong. Number four, if you spend too much time thinking of something, you will never get it done. I mean, this happens, I guess, to all of us. 
if we just keep thinking that okay i'm supposed to do this tomorrow morning or okay i should be doing this if you just keep it in the thought realm it's never going to come through so he says stop thinking the moment the thought arises go do it get it done that's the only way to get things done thinking never accomplished anything thinking plus action yes and the last one notice that the stiffest tree is the easiest to crack while the bamboo or willow survives by bending to the wind this is the same concept as earlier that don't be too rigid in life you you are supposed to learn how to bend and go with the flow so that you survive longer it doesn't having too much pride or being stuck up like a tree bark being very stiff will not save you when the world is throwing bricks at you so be like the bamboo turn twirl whatever you want to do but go with the flow change yourself according to the situation so this is the life story of bruce lee and the reason why people call him and like superhuman and some even call him maybe an alien is because of his ability to have definite focus and do something repetitively until he is an expert in it bruce lee's death was a very sad event for everybody because this was a rising star and he at the time had a daughter and a son already as well and the reason for his death until now it's rather uncertain nobody knows there are a lot of theories some say it was his the movie's movie director who planned to kill him because he wanted to jump to Warner Brothers some say it was the um, Chinese gang in Hong Kong because this he died in Hong Kong at the set the Chinese gang in Hong Kong attacked him because he didn't want to pay some protection money or something there are a lot of theories going on but we do not know what exactly happened and regardless of what happened the world lost a very very amazing human being everyone until now still wants to be bruce lee people who you you hardly expect the business world in the sales world teachers these are people who embody bruce lee's philosophy and they practice it in their daily life so that's about bruce lee for today um until the next topic see you all if you all have any topics you would like me to research and talk about comment down below i'm always happy to do that until then don't forget to subscribe bye bye stay safe